what up it's your boy your brother and friend once again in the building uh back with another video and today i just kind of want to get a little more in depth give you a little more information about the actual role that i have that i'm training for rather through course careers tech bootcamp the preeminent uh tech bootcamp out there I'm telling you this is the one you want to this is the one you want to do if you're ready to pull the trigger in tech which i believe you are i hope you are click the link in the description Use my discount code to get $50 off of your price. Instead of paying $500 like I did, you will pay $450. Save a little money. But anywho, um, the role I'm preparing for is an SDR, which is a sales development rep. And I know you might be thinking sales, because I know sales kind of carries a certain connotation. It's like, mm, and a certain reputation. And you're like, ah, you're thinking, Gotta go door to door trying to sell something to people that they don't want or they don't need. No, I'm telling you, tech sales is a whole different beast, period, like all the way. So, as an SDR, as a sales development rep, uh, my job is to uh, do a little research, do a little outreach, do a little discovery. Basically, I'm going out uh, looking for what's called ICPs or your ideal customer profiles and other companies that need what my company has. So let's say, for example, I work at ABC Tech. And here at ABC Tech, we have a software that helps uh, HR personnel, helps to make their jobs easier, and uh, you know, holds their data, and keeps it order and structure, or whatever have you, and may even help them make money. So we have this software at ABC Tech that will help all HR personnel. And which that pretty much is like some of all companies, because almost all companies have an HR department, right? Right. So my goal and my job as an SDR is to go out and rally these uh, ICPs or these ideal customer profile companies and say, all right, and find and connect with a BP or a buyer persona, uh, which is pretty much inside man or inside woman uh, in these companies that I can connect with and saying, hey, you know, we, we have a solution. We see that, you know, these things may be a problem. You know, tell me what may be some, some, uh, some pain points or issues that uh, you may have uh, in your role. And my job is to make sure that, you know, our software and this person or this company is a good fit for what we have to offer basically in a roundabout way. And with that, all I'm doing is booking the appointment so that this HR personnel can see push them on over to what's called the AE or the account executive. And the account executive, their role is to make sure they do the presentation and show the HR personnel how the software, the ABC tech has to offer, show them how it can help them save time, save money, even make some money, and how it can keep them structured and orderly and all that other good stuff. And so that's my quota. My goal is to just make the appointment set up as many appointments uh, to meet my quota. Yes, you have to meet a quota. And that's the thing. You have, as an SDR, you have your base pay, and then you have your OTE, which is your on-target earning. So with the base pay, let's say, for example, your base pay is 65K. But with your OTE, you're at 80K. So you're pretty much making 80,000 a year if you meet your quota every month. And I don't think these tech companies are making it impossible to meet the quota. It's doable. You have to roll up your sleeves, just put in the groundwork and get it done. And when you make your quota, that's your commission, that's your bonus, that's that extra cash. Like, so instead of just paying or getting paid rather than just 65K, you go ahead and make that full 80 every month, hitting your quota, you know what I'm saying? You're learning as you earn and you learn to get better. Because you may even have a script. You may have a script, you know, when you're doing your cold calls, your cold emails, or you do like a mixture of cold calls, cold emails, and even LinkedIn, uh, social media interaction and engagement uh, with these uh, personnel in the HR departments or whatever have you. Whatever, whoever your BP is or your ICP, you know, you'll connect with them in one of those ways or a mixture of those ways. And you just got to have a script because you got to know what to say when they answer the phone, or you gotta know what to say when you formulate the email and your company, whoever that is, whether it's ABC Tech, it's not really a real tech company, or whatever company you're with, they're gonna train you up. Uh, I'm looking forward to the training. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to the interview process uh, after I get done with the program on next week. Because uh, after I get done, I'm definitely going to be ready to study for the exam and have the exam start prepping for interviews to get hired on and to start, you know, making that money. But not just making that money, but it's really to me about helping people solve their problems, point blank. So that's what the SDR is. Your role is simple. Uh, if, if you decide to sign up for coursework, which I highly, highly recommend it. Again, use that link in the description and that discount code for your boy, saving you 50 bucks. So as an SDR, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, cold calls, I'm, I'm not one who's afraid to get on the phone and talk to people. Uh, I'm a people person, I'm a flamingo personality, so I'm all about connecting with people. So you already know guys, that's what an SDR is. Are you ready for this? I know I'm ready for it. So you already know until next time. Deuces.